hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're sticking with Taito. We're gonna play Shmup because Eric's watching. <laughs> and it's Taito, so that's on theme. That's on brand for tonight. And it's a game that I haven't played in a very long time. It might be really bad. But it's bonus. This is bonus stage stuff. Um, any tips you guys can give? I'll, I'll be... I'll be taking notes on this one. Uh, it's been a long time, but it's in my... This this game is in the shmup stack on my wall, so it must be pretty good. Let's see what's going on. Oh, hello. Hmm. This is an interesting choice right off the bat. We're going to play for girls. Okay, you can hold, which works pretty well. Definitely know that I want that acorn. I can't wait for Mr. Falcon to tell me what a baby time shmup this is. And how bad I am at it. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, I love these characters, though. Oh, hell yeah. It's weird that, uh... So, I'm definitely like a exterminator, and there's a lot of bugs, but like this definitely takes place in like ancient Egypt, right? You guys are seeing the pyramids and stuff too? Yeah, like, what? Including the both are stuck in my head now. Can't be good for this game. I wish there was an easy way to set up like a audio, like a YouTube audio overlay, and I could just stream the first Putting the Blowfish album over this this whole playthrough. Because that's what's happening in my brain. I want you guys to share it with me. There's, there's no pause in this game, so I'm sorry I can't look at your comments right now. Holy shit! What is that? Oh no! Oh no, buddy, don't come over here. There's nothing for you over here, man. Oh sh- How? No, that's terrible. Oh yeah, you're right. The MCA takedown on this. Well, I think I only have one power up, it seemed like. I don't know, some things in this game are a little vague. Okay, that's a power up. That's a power up. Alright, I guess anything that's a letter helps your shot. I don't know. These hieroglyphics are really cool, though. It seems. It'd be, how cool would it be if they were, like, secret? A secret language you had to learn to progress later on. <laughs> <laughs> like Fez style. You have to learn a secret in Sector X language. <clears throat> okay. This seems pretty doable. The one thing that's weird is that it's like... It's hard to tell when I'm hitting him, but I'm just assuming that I am.
Oh! Dang! Dang! Okay, there is a pause when you're not at a boss. So I can catch up a little bit. <laughs> uh, Eric, are you saying that Insector X, the NES version, is better than the Famicom? Or better than a... I don't know. I'm trying to catch up on some back chat, but I, really I should be playing, so... But I'm curious what that... the context of that comment was. <clears throat> Oh yeah, the, I think the acorn affects the red bullets, it seems like. It seems like those come out a little faster. But dang, I didn't get any letters. At least not yet. I seem to be getting better. I think that's a good sign. Um, I don't remember a thing about getting this game or having ever played it before. Like, I'm sure that I played it once when I first got it. And like I said, it made my shelf as like one of the better games. Um, but man, this is not ringing any bells, which is kind of great. It's cool to uh, play it again for the first time, you know? And when he gets close, I think the, the key is just being really low on the screen. I don't think his fire ever, he ever comes down that low. So like, I'm just gonna chill right here and that seems pretty nice. Yeah, there we go. So I, th I feel like I was close every time. I guess that's how you learn, right? Oh, look at that broken SB. Fuck you, buddy. Broken ass stinger. B. <laughs> uh, okay. We're out of Egypt. Looks like we're in the garden. Oh, I tried to do too much there. That was stupid. <clears throat> I hope this is picking up on the stream okay. I know I've had times where I've streamed schmuck games and the bullets... Shit. The bullets don't stream very well because they're kind of like on off frames or something. Um... So let me know if there's any technical problems. But yeah, this, this is a pretty fun little uh, cute up Right? That's what we call this. Oh, shit. Seeds from the sky. Didn't see that coming. 
But that's that's exactly in line with what you'd expect at a stage two, right? Like, like we've kind of been talking about all night. Like, stage one asks a very basic question. It took me a lot of tries to answer it correctly, but I did. And now stage two is like, okay, chill. <laughs> uh, you you eventually answered that question correctly, and I don't want to freak you out. But there's a second question, and it's what if shots also rain from the sky? What what this level presupposes is what if? Oh my god! <clears throat> Should I just ignore going down there? This seems like a uh, like a bad time. Maybe there are just no good times. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, we're getting you a little bit of narrative flavor now. That's good. Uh, the player controls an insect-sized warrior named Kai, who takes on a vast ar army of cyborg insects to free the insect world from the dark ruler queen. Okay? And yeah, Kai the insect is probably protecting his or her cannabis crops. I think that's assumed. Probably not ever spelled out, but yes, I think it's assumed. Oh my god. That little sequence right there is, um, that's a question that I haven't been able to answer. I've got to just buckle down right there. Also, just I just want to make sure nobody's forgetting that we're playing the I am a girl mode, and it's unclear what that means. Hey, I answered the question right. Um, we can go back and, and try this as boy and see what that's all about, too. Oh, I don't like these seeds, like, at all. Ugh. Yeah, you're probably something terrible, you blinking flowers. Who even knows what the horrors you possess? Alright. That seems to be over. Oh! Oh! Damn it, I finally had some power-ups. I was, I was really cranking right there. That was a, that was a good little stretch. I love the mountaintops poking through the clouds here. Good environmental storytelling. All my bros that tight up. This part gets an A+. Plus. I, re I really feel really high right now. I wish there were more power-ups you could do to the character. It feels like there's some like shot changes that are like barely perceivable. But I wish you could do like kind of this oh why not? There we go. I wish you could do like some of the um standard Konami stuff, like having a um satellite ship or oh hey, this shot is perceivably different. I like that. Uh or like a shield, or more different kind of shots. Holy shit, look at that guy, Grasshopper. What? What? <laughs> ah! <clears throat> I love this Grasshopper boss. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the poor shit. That shouldn't happen. Why is it flying right behind you? Dummy. Hey, you're going the wrong way, dummy.
Okay, so it seems like this guy likes to come right at you. I should be looking for his tells. Oof. Oof. Oh, and I'm out of... Continues. Continues are limited. Huh. Who would have thunk it? Okay. Well, I guess this is a chance to try the boy version. Great. Just made the top leaderboard. Let's see what's on your option. Oh, the options are, there's no easy here, it's normal, hard, and special. You can't change the stock lives, that's interesting. Hmm. Alright, let's change the stock lives and we're going to play for boys now. Yeah. Oh, wait. <clears throat> is... No. Is that really the difference? This sex is... Oh my god. You guys, the difference is that your shot sucks. As a boy. <laughs> you have to actually aim right. Oh, no. Why is that boy and girl? Oh, no. Now I can't let Madeline play this. I'm going to do some more research, but it seems it seems like the way they did difficulty in this game was by gender, which is uh, holy fucked up. Um, and this, frankly, this mode's kind of boring compared to uh, Girl, where you had a really cool shot. The weird thing is that this doesn't seem hard at all, like... I don't know, maybe I should wait till, till I fight a boss or something, but... I wonder if there's more to it than just like... The girl mode, you definitely have like a wider spread, like... Um, it's harder to miss, I guess. But I wonder if maybe this shot is like more powerful. <coughs> I mean, anyways, I think making this a gender, <coughs> a gender thing, whoops, was a real strange decision that hasn't aged well. Yeah. Um, I try to be forgiving of this shit. Because like context is everything and it was a different time and blah blah blah, but fuck. This is real unfortunate. <clears throat> oh, holy moly. Why don't I even give myself a five stack? Who would want to do this? <laughs> At least I have the double now. Now it's a little less terrible. I would like to at least see the boss on boy mode and see if maybe it like takes less hits or something. If there's some concession where it's just different, you know, but equal. I, I really would like to give him the benefit of the doubt on this one. The other... I can't pause it. Uh, 
The other crazy thing besides like the spectrum of the shot is that yeah, uh, you also can't just hold shoot in boy mode, which is what I was doing. Which is uh, real weird. Okay, I think we're done with boy mode. Boy mode is yucky and has cooties, and I hate it. Uh, so this was in Sector X. Pro tip: Girl mode's really fun. Pro tip: It sucks that it's called that. I don't get it. Um, but we played a mess of title games tonight. Um, Rainbow Islands, the story of Bubble Bubble Two, Check and Pop, uh, and then in Sector X, uh, which I'm gonna look into a little bit. It seems like there's a story to unpack here. I just kind of pulled it randomly off the shelf because it was a title game, and we had played two title games already tonight. But this is interesting. I I'd love to get to the bottom of these two modes and like what the hell was going on here. Um, you've been watching Famicom Zone on Detroit Arcade Club. Um, Nerd Coalition is up tomorrow night, and I'm pretty sure Jimmy is playing Sin and Punishment, which is a good one, which I'd really... If I can watch it, I'm going to try to. That's a game I've been meaning to know more about, so that'll be cool. Um, the Dojo's Thursday. I'm Personally, I'm going to have to miss that one, but maybe I can play you guys in Street Fighter V online. That'd be cool. And then this Saturday is Offworld Arcade, so if you're in Detroit or the Detroit area... Come down to Offworld. I'm going to be there for the first few hours. Um, Don is raffling a Sega Genesis. That's always cool. Um, so check it out. Uh, I'll be back next week. Might have a special show next week. Uh, I'm working on it. I got. I actually like. I planned the next month or so of shows a little bit. So hopefully we got some cool stuff in the works. But I'll just leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching. And... Um, I will, uh, I'll see you guys next week.